Welcome back to Zone for Geeks. My name is Casey, and in this video, we're going to be installing Snipe IT. Snipe IT is a free open source asset management software. It's one of my favorite pieces of free software because it just makes my life in IT so much easier. For this video, I'm going to install Snipe IT on an Ubuntu 24.04 server. As always, the commands in this video will be in the description below. Before we get started, you should download new packages and update your already installed packages. You do this with the apt update and the apt upgrade commands. I've already done that, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is download our Nginx web server, database, and PHP along with other related PHP requirements. Depending on the speed of your system, this can take a few minutes. Now we install Composer. Now let's create our database along with our associated database username. It should go without saying, do not use password as your password. I've cleared the screen to make it a little bit easier to see. Now that we've set up our database, we need to navigate to our HTML folder so we can download Snipe IT from GitHub. Now we want to navigate to our new Snipe IT folder. Here we're going to copy our environment file and change the name to env. Now open up the env file with your favorite text editor. I'm going to use nano. And there are a few things that we need to change. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and change our app URL. Now all of my servers have static IP addresses, so that's what I'm going to use. We want to change the name of our database and our username. And finally, we want to set our password for our database. If you want to utilize SMTP to send mail, then this is where you would do that as well. I'm not going to do that, so I'm going to hit Control X and then Y to save and then enter. Now we need to change ownership and permissions of our Snipe IT folder. Next, we're going to update our composer dependencies. And one more. And now we need to generate a new application key. Here's where things can deviate depending on when you're watching this video. As part of our PHP installation, you installed a version of PHP FPM. You'll need to know this version to continue. Luckily, there's a simple command that will do that for you. Here you can see I'm using version 8.3. We want to go ahead and start our PHP FPM service. And we want to enable the service so that it automatically starts up when we reboot our server. We're almost done, but we have to create a site config file first. You can copy this or grab it from the description below. I'm going to change my IP address up here to .7. And then once again, you want to make sure that your PHP FPM version matches what you actually have installed. In my case, it's version 8.3. There's just a couple of more things that we need to do before we're ready to test our installation. First, we need to create a symlink for our new config file. 
Now, to prevent future problems, we need to add the single line to our Nginx config file. Go ahead and navigate to anywhere under the HTTP brackets. Whoops. Let me try that again. Go to the HTTP bracket and add that line. Save it and then you're done. And the last thing we have to do is just restart our Nginx service. And as you can see, we can now access Snipe IT. Things you want to pay attention to is to make sure that you have a good database connection. And all of this, with the exception of your email, is check green. If you did set your email, you can go ahead and test it. However, you can also do this later on. So you do not have to do it right now if it's not working. Our database tables have been successfully created. So now we can go ahead and create our first user. Once you filled in all of your information, you should now be able to access Snipe IT. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.